What happened to Jun Kazama? Going from absolutely dominating early Tekken 8, being not only one of the most overpowered characters in the game, but also one of the most popular, having higher play rates than seasoned veterans like Huarang, Paul, and Steve, to largely being forgotten today. She's fallen off a lot in terms of popularity, but she's also absolutely tanked in terms of competitive viability, going from consistently being ranked in the top 5 to nowadays almost never making it out of low tier in most pro players' tier lists. This is the biggest drop off in terms of a character's strength that we've seen in the admittedly short history of Tekken 8, somehow having an even bigger drop than her old partner in crime, Azucena, who we talked about in the previous video. June has not had it easy in recent times. But why is that? Why has June seen such a major fall off in the past six months of Tekken 8? What made her so broken in the first place? And why does it seem like everyone's dropping the character? I decided to find out, and after extensive research, and listening to people complaining on Twitter, I think I figured it out. So let's talk about it. Having not been in the mainline Tekken game since Tekken 2, and being pretty bad in her most recent appearance in Tekken Tag 2, there wasn't a lot of expectations for June coming into Tekken 8. So we as a community were all surprised when the first online playtest of the game came along. The Tekken 8 open beta gave us our first chance to not only see June, but get our hands on the character itself. And it didn't take long for people to realize how broken she actually was. But it was kept rather quiet during the beta. She wasn't particularly popular, and the overall consensus on her was that she was very strong, but no one really understood why. When the game finally launched in January, it was made clear that she wasn't just very strong, no, she was absolutely broken. June had ridiculous damage, some of the highest damage in the entire game. Honestly, maybe in the entire series. This was because of her first problematic trait, that wall combo. It seems a lot of us Tekken players have almost forgot about how devastating this was because it was nerfed so long ago. But let me remind you, when the game first launched, June had a wall combo that was disgusting. She would do a forward forward 3, press 3 plus 4 as her wall ender, and this would give her a guaranteed, incredibly heavy hitting 1 plus 2. This guaranteed wall sequence was ridiculous. She was getting like over 100 damage off of her combos whenever she got the wall. It was simply too much. No character should have this much damage. June also had some of the best punishment in the game, with her up forward 1, 10 frame punish, being a 36 damage attack that wall splatted from an insane range. Combine these two traits together and, oh look, I just took 90 damage from a 10 frame punish. It wasn't fun to deal with. It went further than just her damage and punishment though. June had the best heat smash in the game. It was completely broken. This was a fast move coming out at 13 frames that was nearly a full screen projectile that also had full tracking due to the second hit. Let me repeat that, a fully tracking projectile. Oh, but it gets worse. This move has a unique mechanic. It's basically a healing potion. When she used this move, she heals and a pretty significant amount too. But okay, surely it only heals her when you actually hit your opponent with the move, right? Right? Her heat smash healed her on hit, on block, and on whiff. Yes, on whiff. This was an actual thing for the first couple months of the game. If you blocked the attack, you took chip damage and she healed health. If she didn't hit anyone with the attack, she would still heal from the air. Not that this mattered, of course, because the move was essentially impossible to avoid anyway, so she would really never whiff this. It had full tracking to both sides, so good luck sidestepping. This was one of the most broken moves ever seen in Tekken history, if you ask me, and was the main reason why the character was so absurdly strong in the first few months of the game. It was stupid. There was absolutely no justifying this. This was a move with zero counterplay. You would see a June pop her heat burst, and then would have to essentially just sit still and wait for the heat smash. Sit back, relax, and watch her heal for free while there's essentially nothing you can do. And if the move does hit you, oh, you're taking 50 damage. It made the character into a ticking time bomb. On top of this, she had a lot of other smaller stuff. She was a pressure monster, having some very strong strings to overwhelm her opponents with, and in general having very good neutral tools. Or at least that's what people thought. June's downfall began very early into Tekken 8's life. About two weeks after the game's release, actually. The first balance patch came quick and wasted no time nerfing June. This patch removed her wall combo that would give her a guaranteed follow-up, thus heavily nerfing her combo damage. Simple as that, now June no longer had broken damage. Thank God for that. 
Sorry to quickly interrupt this video, but if you're enjoying this and want to see more scripted Tekkenate content like this, please consider subscribing to the channel. It goes such a long way in helping me fight the YouTube algorithm and work towards my dream of hopefully one day doing this for a living. It's free to do and it only takes about a second of your time, but it helps me out so much. Thank you guys so much and let's get back to the video. Even after this, she was still a very strong character, but it was around this time and in the following weeks that people started realizing that this character was actually quite a bit more gimmicky than most people had thought. People started extensively labbing the character and publicizing the counterplay to a lot of her common strings and setups. Maybe she wasn't as strong as people initially thought. She was nerfed slightly more in the March patch, with the Heat Smash no longer healing on whiff. Okay, this is good, but again, this never even really mattered because it was impossible for this move to whiff in the first place. But in these patch notes, they promised to address the real issue in the upcoming large May patch. Even before this May patch, however, people started understanding more and more that this character had taken a pretty decent beating. It seemed like the damage and the Heat Smash really were the main things making her so overpowered, and with the damage gone, and the strings and setups slowly starting to be figured out by more and more people, she began dropping on most tier lists. The general opinion at this time was that she was still a very strong character, sitting around the top of A tier or the bottom of S, but this was almost exclusively because of her broken Heat Smash. Pretty much the exact same boat as Devil Jin, and in the next patch, June suffered the same fate as him. The 1.04 balance patch saw her biggest nerfs ever. The Heat Smash was gutted, just like Devil Jin's. It lost all of its tracking, the health recovery was reduced, and a change was made so that June now takes permanent damage when using her special attacks, like her up forward one punishments, giving a way bigger risk reward. This patch hurt her a lot, with most people dropping her down to around mid tier or even lower right after this, thus again proving that it really was just these two big things that made her so strong. The rest was nothing too special. Everyone was just figuring out all of her tricks, and she was left with pretty much nothing. The next patch aimed to give her some buffs to help her out, while also nerfing some more niche stuff. They introduced a new mechanic for her where she gained HP from some of her moves now and a bunch of her strings, like her 1-1. Her low heat smash was buffed, now only being minus 12 on block. That was a really big buff, but I don't think it helped as much as her nerf in this patch, where her full crouch down forward 2, one of her best lows and a counter hit launcher, was heavily toned down, losing 30% of its combo damage on counter hits. That really was a big nerf that people don't talk about enough. This was the last patch June was significantly changed, and the rest is history. It's been over four months since this, and this brings us back to present day, where, again, she's pretty terrible. She sees almost no use in pro play, and at best is put in mid-tier by the most optimistic players. Everyone just kind of accepts now that she's just… bad. Don't get me wrong, she still has stuff going for her, just like every other character in Tekken 8, but it's simply not enough. June was incredibly broken for the first half of this year, solely because of those two things, her damage and her heat smash, and once those things were rightfully taken away, nothing but a lackluster character really remained. She was just never that strong all on her own. She was a weak character hiding behind two broken traits. This just goes to show how much one or two overtuned options can make a character so incredibly broken in this game. We've seen the same thing with Devil Jin with his Heat Smash, and Azucena with her famous wall running 3-2, and of course June, who's now in a really weird place. I'm not actually sure what I would do to make June stronger and increase her play rate again, because every time she got nerfed, her play rate went down. How do we fix this character? Giving her back her old Heat Smash is definitely off the table. But I honestly kind of think her Heat Smash now is just pretty poorly designed in general. Even though it kind of sucks, it still does heal on block, and like, why? That's such a weird mechanic to have in a fighting game. I think it would help her to just scrap this projectile Heat Smash entirely, and rework her so she gets a more normal Heat Smash. Not a projectile, normal range, but it would give plus 5 on block like all the other mid Heat Smashes, and takes her into her stance after for mix-ups. It's not worth keeping the projectile property when it has literally no tracking and isn't even plus on block. Maybe give her one like Jin's that wall splats. Just something like that would make the character way more interesting in my eyes, and I think would help her out a lot on the tier list. Maybe give her some stronger neutral options, a stronger low? I'm not actually sure, because again, the character is just very underwhelming right now in pretty much every category. Her pressure is good, I mean sidestep 4 has always been a very strong tool, but once you get past that, if you just take the time to lab her stances and lab her mix-ups, most of it is pretty fake and pretty easily avoidable. I feel bad for June these days. So if you're still playing June to this day, you have my respect for sticking with a character you love. Most people clearly didn't. But that's just my opinion. 
What do you guys think about Jin in this game? And what do you think they should do with her in the coming years? Let me know in the comments below. And also, make sure to let me know what character you guys want to see me cover next. I'll be down there chatting with you guys as always. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe to support more scripted Tekken 8 videos like this, as it really helps a lot. And as always, a huge thanks to my YouTube members and Patreon patrons. I love you guys so much, and I'm so grateful for everything you've done for me. Thank you so much. Reminder that I now have a Discord server. The link will be in the description and the pinned comment. So if you're interested in chatting with me and a growing Tekken community, feel free to join the Discord server. The people there are really cool. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Take it easy.